here on New Swing Street at Peel's Golf Club, what I want to talk about is uh, the two main, main common faults I see with pushing balls. So a push is generally a shot that flies straight out of target, no curvature, it comes from an into out swing path. Okay? So you're swinging into out, the cloth is square to that path. Okay? So you need to get that, obviously, identify the ball flight first. The thing, first couple of things I'm going to talk about is when I see people who start the down swing too aggressively, from the position they get from unwind, the unwind or the unwinding phase, okay? So the position they get from the top of that swing into the rock, okay? And their ball position in relation to their feet, so the ball position is too far back in relation to their stance, okay? So, first of all, I'm going to talk about is when people obviously they get to the top of that swing, but what they'll do is they'll s obviously anything that comes with distance requires speed, but people do this. Big hitters can control the speed of their hips in relation to their upper body, but what happens is when people try to hit the ball too hard, especially amateurs, they don't have the experience of moving the lower body and upper body in the correct sequence. So what they'll do is they'll move the lower body too quickly and too aggressively, okay? So what happens there, as my hips start unwinding too aggressively, what happens there? My shoulders are actually in a closed position, okay? And what happens is my body is leading too far ahead but if I get into a position where I block my hips out, so from there, my hands have to travel a long way in order for me to hit the golf ball, okay? So, the first thing that happens is when the ball position is too far back, that aligns the shoulders closed, okay? But as soon as I move my hips too aggressively, that points my hips further right of where I'm actually aiming, okay? To start with, okay? So my shoulders point further right as I move too aggressively into the golf ball, okay? So, from here, my hands are blocked out by my body, okay? So, from here, if you struggle with that uh, position, so if you think that the ball position is too far back, then move it forward, okay? So, what we need to do is understand a bit more the mechanics of this movement, okay? So, if I move too aggressively forward, that blocks my hands out, okay? So, in order for me to hit that golf ball, I have to do something, I have to do quite extreme, you know, extreme movement here to try and get the club head back on the ball, okay? So my hands are blocked out by my right hip, okay? So what I need to do from here is when I get into that position, so if I move too aggressively, what happens is the club head is miles behind my hands because it's almost, the club head's almost behind my right hip. So if I get into a position where I slide too aggressively, the club head's almost too far behind my hands, okay? So for me to try and combat this, I need to stand up, okay? So if I stand up, then everything hangs back, okay? So that weight shift that you've made on the left foot is automatically going to go back to the right foot, okay? So it's the opposite movement that needs, the opposite movement needs to be taught in order for us to try and get into a bit of habit doing that, okay? So if you move too aggressively, then that almost throws the hands too far behind your body. The hands can't release because the hands are blocked out by the body, okay? So from here, obviously you stand up, and what that does, as soon as you stand up, you lose all the energy from you, or you use the kinematic, you, you lose the kinematic sequence that you built from the ground. Hands get stuck behind, okay? So from you, the minute that you're standing up, this left shoulder moves up too early, okay? So I've done a video on this a few weeks ago, pushing and hooking, okay? So if this shoulder moves up too early, then that's where the club head is going to be, or the pass is going to be more into that, okay? So the complete offset, if you hit down on it, this shoulder remains low, this lead shoulder remains low too long, path will go out to the right, okay? So in order to eliminate that, what we need to do is try and get into a better position. So as we start the back swing, feel like we create a lateral shift, okay? So feel like we're almost keeping our head slightly behind the golf ball. A lot of people move their head, which moves their weight, okay? So pretend that you're addressing the golf ball and feel like that you pick a target behind the golf ball. So look at the, the, your left eye and make sure that you can see a target behind the golf ball in your left eye, okay? So, if we focus on that, then that will help us hit through the golf ball, okay? And from here, if we, if, if you pretend that there's a chair behind me, so if I was to put, or enough to even get against the ball, okay? So, we'll use our custom fitting card here, so we need to feel like that we're keeping our, our uh, hips attached against the wall. So if they become detached, then that's where the weight of the, 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 weight of the swing will move, okay? So as we get to the top of the back swing, feel it like start down, and then feel like that our left hip moves out. So feel like our left knee moves out of the way, okay? So 
if you slide too aggressively, that left knee moves towards the golf ball, okay? And that's where the left knee is ahead of the right knee. So we need to always keep the left knee in front of the right knee, okay? So if we take hold back some, feel that the left knee turns out the way. And if the left hip turns out the way, that gives free access to the hands to release through the golf ball, okay? So nonetheless, where the hands are blocked because the body's in the way, okay? So I do that again. So stand and then make sure that you get top of back swing. If this left hip, so the first movement you need to feel like is the, le the left knee coming out towards the target, okay? So comes out towards target, left hip moves. From here, the shoulder moves, okay? So it's like a chain reaction. If the left side moves, the right side can turn into the, the hitting area, okay? So get top of the back swing, turn out way, hands move into the third position, and then that's where they'll get the access to turn around my left foot, okay? So the left knee should turn around the left foot, and that's where we'll be able to create that desired power, okay? So if I get into a bit of back swing, so feel like the upper body and the lower body are stacked against each other, okay? So if you move it extremely with your, your lower body, then that's where the problem can be, it can be infinitesimal sometimes. So it's a small fault that can take a lot, a lot of problems throughout the back swing, okay? So hips, try and keep your lower body in, in a more controlled sequence. So don't move your hips as aggressively. Feel that like your upper body and lower body are stacked on top of the golf ball, okay? So lower body moves out the way and behind, okay? So it doesn't move, it doesn't turn out the way and move forward. It moves, it move, turns out forward slightly, then around, okay? So if that turns around, then the pivot of the body will be able to hit the golf ball. If the pivot moves correctly, the hands are able to move hit. So if you've got any thoughts on that video, so there's a job to work on to stop you plunging forward. So try and feel like you're squatting into it. So almost feel like your bum's suctioned against a chair or a custom fitting cap. And then just try and feel like you're turning through the golf ball, okay? So if you've got any thoughts on that, let me know.